Hey, it's Michael from Michigan. Praise the Lord. You know, I wanted to share real quick. Um, man, I tell you, I've been getting numbers like crazy. Um, the one number I've been getting that has really kind of caught my interest was 14. Getting number 14 a lot. Now, when you um, let's study the biblical meaning, it has to deal with it. it deals with the understanding um, of uh, spiritual perfection. Deals with a double measured in strength or spiritual completeness that is twice over. So you can kind of kind of maybe think of double portion, but spiritual perfection. To me, it, it just it it represents God's glory is pouring out upon those who seek His face, and and that He's doing some you know um, mighty things in these last days, and that you know soon that we'll have a new spiritual glorified body, and and when we you know get to heaven to be with the Lord. Um, also been getting a lot of uh, two two twos. Man, we're getting a lot. Um, Revelation twenty two twenty. Um, 3.11, got that even today, um, Revelation 3.11, and then also I get 11.22 again, starting to see that quite a bit, um, 11's chaos, 22 is dis disintegration of the world's economic system. Now, I, I told you before, we um, as Christians need to kind of be ready for this coming storm, and, um, you know, because they were talking about how Obama um, and his minions want to destroy the economy. Um, collapse the economy so they can start their American takeover. And so, you know, I expect now he gets um, re inaugurated again on the, uh, January 20th, and they say right after the inauguration, um, things are going to start accelerating greatly for their plans. So, um, you know, we need to, you know, we need to uh, be strong, deeply rooted in Christ, and be ready until you know, the Lord comes for us and stand because we might see part of this you know some of this stuff going on and so we need to stand strong in the lord so um you know i mean we we could definitely see this as, you know part of the collapse or whatever you know um you know because you know they um you know i believe god is going to use this collapse in america to bring some revival just before the coming of the lord and so um, that's why I'm just trying to encourage people to take heart, you know, because we're going to be a, a, um, a great voice in, in that time to tell people what's going on and to lead them to the cross and tell them to put their hope in Christ because the king is coming soon. You know, that we're, you know, I mean, their eyes are going to be wide open about the last days at that point. Um, and so anyway, um, I just wanted to share that. I've just been getting, you know, I said, um, the Lord just keeps dropping things on me. Um, you know, still get 333, Jeremiah 333, call the man and show you many things which you do not know. Uh, 444, glory of God, Ezekiel 444. And, um, but anyway, you guys, I just want to say, um, but definitely, you know, t this, this, this Obama agenda to tear down America is a real deal. So we really need to stand strong and keep looking up and um, be ready because if we are here to see um, this economic collapse soon because this year like I said God had warned a storm and shaking was coming you know and I believe this is what it is you know people have visions of the riots and the, you know all that but um, it's you know I don't know if you've seen the video talking about how this is going to hit the big cities first and then they're going to work to the outlying cities you know but um, we know our king is coming soon we need to keep looking up but um, and we need to stand strong because I believe like you read the book of Acts that when the church was persecuted, there was a great revival. And so we need, you know, believe in God for a mighty revival in these last days, you know. And um, this could be a mighty revival just before the coming of the Lord. You know, a lot of people praying for their family and friends to get on board. And there you go. You know, there's a great opportunity because once their comfort zones have been shaken, and now they got to cry out to God because he's the only hope for this world. You know, so anyway, I love you guys. And Father, I pray a double portion of your Holy Spirit just to saturate us all today and continue to guide us, lead us, keep us, Lord. Help us to stand strong, to dwell in the secret place of the Most High, and to put on the whole armor of God. In Jesus' name, we think of the devil's bound and defeated. Give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Put on the whole armor of God. Uh, and, you know, so stand. Have me done all. Stand. Stand for Christ. So. Um, the King is coming soon. I love you all. Keep looking up. Um, like I said, I want to keep encouraging people to um, know that this this um, this Obama agenda is, is a real deal. They want to take the guns. They want to collapse the economy. They want to do all that. So we need to stand strong until that trumpet sounds, until the King comes. And so we need to stand strong because we could be that 
that voice to tell people, you know, everybody wants to know what's going on, what's happening, and we'll be that answer that they need to bring peace and help them stand strong for Jesus until we're home. I love you guys. Have a very blessed day. Keep looking up. And if I don't get any um, videos out anytime soon, it's because my computer keeps crashing. My display driver is crashing constantly, and I don't have the money to get it fixed. So I keep trying to reboot it and get it going. But if you don't see a video for a while, it's because I'm trying to find a computer or, or something, you know, because i um, trying to hopefully get another one soon. But anyway, I love you guys. Um, if anyone understands the, the display driver thing and how to fix that, but I might have to get a computer tech to take a look at it, a friend or something. But anyway, I love you guys. Keep looking up. The king is coming soon. God bless.